Hi everyone, uh, today we've got a, a sneak peek down the uh, latest line that I've cut. Uh, I'm going to give you a walk down and let you see what you think. This one is designed for your kind of enduro trail bike, around the 140mm travel. Um, and it's for those that are looking to just, I suppose intermediates that are looking to just progress the skill. So we are going to have features in there, it's going to be quite twisty uh, in sections. and we've uh, you know it's a chance to progress and a chance to learn some new stuff so anyway less talking more walking down it so see if we can get this sorted so starting off at the cross stick just been a bit of clearing today really um just to kind of open a corridor out uh, I've done the old stakes in the ground again. Now then, this part is leading you into a, a small step down. So practicing the step down. So across here, as we come into here and follow these sticks down, across these two trees here, there's going to be some logs built up and a slight kicker. Nothing too big, just to get you uh, get your practice with the ideas of step downs smoothing this part out give you a decent landing but you've just built up some speed so probably another feature in this area here I'll give you a look back on this the step down is not very high up it's not it's nothing too steep it's just like an intermediate one um, if you are already already familiar with step downs then I expect people to be busting some style off there so into this obviously we're getting quite when this gets the loam it's full of loam at the moment as you can see, but as that gets uncovered, this is just going to become quite rooty. Around this corner, we're going to burn, burn up a bit around the corner to get you in. So that'll bank you around, spit you out down into this direction. Again, as I say, we're particularly loamy at the moment, but there's, uh, that's going to quickly uncover into a root fest. So what you're looking at is essentially a blank canvas. Oh, these, these ones have got to come out because they've got no chance of growing. So sorry, what you're looking at is a, a blank canvas. It's uh, just a cut corridor. There's no features built on it. Uh, it just gives you an idea of where, where this trail grows. Again, berm you around here. The only reason this fence is still here is because I didn't have my wire cutters with us today. Nipping in round a rooty corner to spit you back out. Bit of a twist on. Back into here, and this is as much time as I had today, so it's as far as we've got come back and finish that one off but essentially the idea is you're going to be off down into let me just decide where I put my line I did drag a line out which I believe is into here obviously we're getting into areas that haven't even been cleared yet Down and through. Oh, needs a bit of climbing through at the moment. We'll keep this rotten old stump and do something with it. Get down onto it. That. that. Oh, excuse me. Okay, and then the line that I dragged, um, it kind of stopped here, just because purely. Well, it's a bit of a difficult choice, isn't it? We'll look for something to go down. Now, there's that corridor, which would be, looks fun. But we could also kick back into this side. We've kind of come down for some twisty stuff. Um, kick back into the side. Might kick out this way and across it. Um, 
as I say, we've got lots of choices on this part. But uh, we'll come back and finish that one off. Uh, part of me thinks, part of me thinks that kicking back into here again, and then bending back in, that that might be fun. Or we could take, could take this line into here and start to get, start to get tight, and then back back round again and swoop it round or we could come right out and then kick back in so the good news is we're not short of choices um, I'm just going to walk us back over to the, the front section just because to be honest that's the easiest part to walk down Obviously there's a temptation to just straight line a big feature over here, but that's not what this line is about. Um, we're more about, take it steady down this part. We're more about like a 140 mil bike, intermediate rider, honing their skills, I suppose. However, there's like a, like a bit of a, there's like a messy bit down in here it does make you think that we should probably I don't know we've, we've dropped out of one of these sides rather than come straight in or we might come straight in that's all the beauty of it there's plenty of choice we'll finish that corridor off another day but I'm quite pleased that we're going to fit in a smaller step down um, Otherwise, if you don't get, my, well, my feelings on it are, if you don't get a chance to hit the smaller ones and get your confidence up and get used to them, then when it comes time to get over the far side and, uh, and go and have a go at the bigger ones, then you're not going to be able to hit them as fast, you're not going to hit them with as much. You know, there's a certain element of muscle memory, just getting used to, used to it. So... There we have it, Monday, start of a new week, um, start of a new trail, new corridor being cut. Uh, I'll keep you updated from here. Um, if any of you are going to the A Forest BDS, uh, look out for me, come and give us me a shout because I'm going to come up and have a, a wander around and do a bit of spectating and a bit of mooching around just because frankly it's a BDS that's an hour away from home. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to enter at the moment, but uh, hey oh, maybe next year. So, thanks very much for watching, uh, and uh, I hope that's it's quite fun to have a bit of a sneak peek at a trail that you're going to get to ride soon. Thanks very much.